God as he did in his last and greatest messenger. And I speak no other than the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. And I'd like to greet each and every one of you in greetings of peace of Isalam Alaikum. It is good to see each and every one of you here today, as we always say. We know there's other places that you all could have been, but we're grateful to Allah that you are here among us today. Yes, sir. My name is Brother Talib. I'm not the minister, but what my job is to open for the minister, and what I do is get you acquainted with Muhammad's Temple of Islam and to prepare you for a speaker. Here in Muhammad's Temple of Islam, we always ask the question, why are you here today? Think about that question. Why are you here today? Are you looking for a change? If you're looking for a change, what kind of change are you looking for? Are you looking for a change in your condition, your way of thinking, your way of life? And not only are you looking for that change for yourself, are you looking at, for that same change for your people? Are you looking for that change for your friends, your loved ones? Think about that. So if you're looking for that change, are you in the right place for that change? Think about that question. Here in Muhammad's Temple of Islam, we have an actual fax board. And it asks the question, which one will survive the war of Armageddon? Think about that question. question. It says, which one will survive the war of Armageddon? You have Christianity. And you see the American flag, which represents one of the most powerful Christian nations on the planet. And under that, you have slavery, suffering, and death. And you have a cross, and you see a black man hanging on a tree. That's right. Then on the other side, you see Islam, which has the flag. You see the flag of the sun, the moon, and the stars. <coughs> and it says freedom, justice, and equality. And in your mind, you probably wonder, why is the poor man like that? Why is that a Christianity that shows slavery, suffering, and death? But again, Islam it has freedom, justice, and equality. But well, see, that's the beauty of being here in Muhammad's Temple of Islam because we have a question and answer period where these questions can be answered. Yes, sir. And we do have one here among us who is qualified to answer these questions. And I speak to other than our beloved minister, Minister Basir Muhammad. But brothers and sisters, you know, as I said before, you know, I have a little, you know, bit of bad news, but I even have a lot more good news. And the bad news is the Minister Basir will not be speaking today. But the good news is we do have the next best thing. And I speak other than our assistant minister, Minister Yusuf Muhammad. And you say, well, who is Minister Yusuf Muhammad? Minister Yusuf Muhammad, he is the son of Minister Basir Muhammad. And he has been in the teachings of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad all his life. And brother, he's been around since the day of our beloved messenger. And when you hear this brother speak, you will hear, you know, when, when you know what I'm saying, when you see the Father, you see the Son, you will definitely see the reflection of our beloved minister in his son when he speak. Yes, sir. You know, when this brother gets up here and speak, you know, the brother has power. He has energy when he speaks. Yes, you know, when you hear the teachings coming out of him, you know that you're hearing the true teachings of our beloved messenger brother, of our beloved messenger when this brother speaks. So brothers and sisters, I don't want to hold you too long, but let's give a warm welcome as I bring our beloved minister, Minister Yusuf Muhammad. Beautiful, very beautiful day. So 
always a pleasure coming before my brothers and sisters and people just to share a little bit of what I have learned in my time on this earth of the teaching of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. Yes, sir. Brothers and sisters, we know we are in serious times. That's right. We say we are free. We say that we can go anywhere we want. But the messenger teaches us that we are not free. He said we think we are free. But we are still mentally in bondage. We still physically in bondage. He teaches us that when we can only be free when we have shaken off everything of this white man. That's true. That's true. Whom we call the devil. Yes, sir. So don't get upset with us for calling the white man the devil. That's right. Because that is what he is. That's yes, right. sir. He is the devil. Now, let us look at our condition as a people, as a nation. The white man brought us over here. True. That's right. Is that right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Today he tells us that we were savages. True. Is that not right? That's yes, sir. Yes, sir. He tells us we were savages. But our people don't take the time to think nor study what this man is saying to you. He's telling us that a savage built this country. That's right. And one of the most powerful countries in the world. True, sir. A savage built this country. This white man didn't build this country. The white man didn't even know math. That's it. He didn't know measurements. But he wants you to think that he kidnapped and brought a savage over here and built this country. Mm, think about that. We were no savages. Our lessons teaches us that they call that part of the world Africa to make our people in this part of the world think that we are all different. True. That's right. We are not different. That's the thing the devil do. Divide and conquer. That's right. He have us hating ourselves. But he taught us we were savages and we built this country. He gives us his religion, Christianity that keeps you mentally dead, that keeps you physically Take your time, not able to do for self. His religion ultimately kills you. Yes, Think about it. This religion is not our way of life. This religion was forced on us. That's right, man. That's right. And just as it was forced on us to build this country. True. How cool. Today, when we look out into the world, all we see is our people acting like savages. Think about it. We didn't learn savagery, or we wasn't practicing savagery prior to him bringing us over here. That's right. That's right. That is him he is talking about. Okay. Our lessons ask us, why did Moses have a hard time civilizing the devil 2000 BC? Good question. Break it down. Why did Moses have a hard time civilizing the devil 2000 BC? Good question, sir. Because he was a savage, the devil. Right. A savage means a person who has lost the knowledge of himself and is living the life of a beast. That's right. We are living 2000 BC. Moses was 4000 AD. So the Honorable Life Mama teaches us, excuse me, Moses was 2000 AD. Yes, sir. So the Honorable Life Mama teaches us. 
That be see, the devil, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches us that the devil lost 2,000 years in the cave. That's, That's right. right. That's right. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches us that we drove the devil 2,250 miles over the hot, burning sand. That's in Arabia. Arabia. When he fell down on all fours, he lost his language and knowledge of himself. He lost everything. He became a savage. He lived in the caves of Europe. He dug holes in them. That's right. He befriended the dog in ways you don't think about. That's true. <laughs> teach, That's true. brother. Teach. Look at the nature of a dog. When you see a dog, a dog will run and jump on any dog, male or female. That's right. Is that right? That's right. That is a beast. That is savagery. So the honorable life mama teaches us that they was running around eating their food raw. That's right. They knew nothing about fire. You seen the movie Quest for Fire? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The caveman running around. Ooh, 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 all talking crazy. True, true. Fighting each other for nothing. Right, right. Hitting each other upside the head. That's right. Jumping out of trees on wild pigs and ripping the flesh of the wild animal wide open with their teeth. That's right, sir. Think about it. Think about that. That's savagery. Yes, sir. They show you traces of their savagery today. Yes, sir. When they go to the restaurant. Uh, I like it medium done. Rare. Why? For they can taste the blood coming out of the meat. That's right. Because it's embedded, it, it's their nature. The nature is the nature of a beast. Yes, sir. But they want us to believe that we are the savages. Yes, sir. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches us that Moses went to them because they had to rule for a time and they lost 2,000 years in the cave. Right. So Moses went to them. As the scriptures say, as Moses raised the serpent in the wilderness, so shall the son of man be raised. That's right. Yes, sir. That's right. Moses went to the people. And he taught them the forgotten tree knowledge. Now, I said, the scriptures say, Moses raised the serpent in the wilderness. Is that right? That's right. That's right. Teach. That don't mean That's right. a snake. Right. Speak a, on it. An actual snake running in the grass. That's true. Speak okay. on it. That means the characteristics of a person. Yes, sir. The, that person had the characteristics, characteristics of a serpent. Yes, sir. That's, That's right. right. So true. That's right. That's what it means. You see, brothers and sisters here in the nation of Islam, we don't read the Bible and just read it like a fairy tale. That's right. Talk to it. The Honorable Mom teaches us to read and learn and study and get the knowledge of what we are reading and studying. That's right. He breaks it down for us. That is why we have this information. And this information is to change the hearts of the children of God back to the Father. That's right. So, brothers and sisters, Moses went to this devil. And he raised this devil, this white man, and put him back in his, the place he's supposed to be. That's right. Because the scripture teaches us that the devil had six days or 6,000 years to rule. That's right. To right. do his work. That's right. The Holy Quran uh, tells us that the devil told God, you spite me to the day that they are raised. That's right. True. And you won't find most of them faithful. That's true. Right? Yes, sir. They ask them, what would you make? Except that would shed blood. 
And he said, I know that what you know not. Now the devil is on the scene. The white man, Moses put a board in his back, stood him up, taught him, and all these things. And he brought us over here and built his nation. He is running the country. We hear all these talks of the Illuminati, the Rothschilds, all these. These are devils. That's right. But they got the knowledge of the black man, some of them. Yes, sir. They're using a portion of the knowledge of the black man to rule the world. That's true. That's true. Think about that. So, brothers and sisters, we must look at this actual fact board. As Brother Talib said, it asks you a question, which one will survive the war on game? Christianity or Islam? Our people only know Christianity. They only know slavery, suffering, and death under the cross. The cross is the emblem of death. The cross is, the, is an emblem that you are taught in the scriptures that was used to put murderers and robbers and thieves to death. That's true. Or anyone who broke the law who may saw fit to kill. That's true. That's right. Sure. That's right. That is a symbol of death. Our people are wearing it around their necks, tattooing it to their bodies. That's right. That is just telling us that our people have no knowledge of themselves nor their God. That's true, that's right. that's right. We have Islam, freedom, justice, and equality. This is a way of life. It's called a religion. But it is a, it is a way of life. That's right. Teach. It is the black man's nature. The nature of us is peace. The nature of us is righteousness. That's right. Islam. Our people don't know about Islam. They think it's a new religion. That's right. That's what they think. Because they don't know who they are. Yes, if they knew who they are, we would be in another place or condition today. That's right. Yes, Everybody is looking for the return of Jesus in the Christian world. Everybody is looking for somebody to come back and remove evil and wickedness from among us. Is that not right? That's right. That's right. When we look out into this world, all we see is savagery. When you or playing music, you see children doing dirty dancing. True, true. That's you right. see children doing the pony. That's they right. They used to do the chicken.